Hi there, good evening, hope you're doing well. It's Ashraf here from Zenon Studios and I'm here to introduce AutoCAD. Well, I'm assuming you've, intro, you've already installed AutoCAD on your laptop, so go ahead and launch it by clicking it. Perfect. Um, I've installed AutoCAD 2022. I'm assuming you have either a newer version or an older version, but that's okay. In AutoCAD 2022, this is the first page you get you encounter once you launch it well you have the open this opens a previous project that you've been working on you have the new this opens a new project and since we are learning autocad let's open a new project so hit new perfect so it will launch our page just here but uh, before we go into anything else, I want us to look at uh, the basics of AutoCAD, things that we are going to be using on a daily, so that before we get into the commands and tools, we know how to go around our page. Perfect. Now, um, our page has a grid, as you can see, and uh, the cross this cross that you see moving around is actually my cursor while in the page you realize once i take it out of the page it becomes the normal cursor but once we are back to the page it becomes a cross yeah we shall be using this the next thing you see we have a grid system down here xy and once you zoom in and out this xy moves along with the page to zoom in and out simply roll roll the wheel on your on your mouse simply roll the wheel on your mouse in and out to zoom in and out you can also pan around the page you can hold this page and move around the page how do you do that simply hold down the wheel on your mouse and move your mouse to do that hold down the wheel on your mouse and move around all you can simply grab the pan tool just at your extreme right here there is a toolbar simply grab the pan by clicking it and then using it over your page to move around so to get out of that command simply hit escape on your keyboard escape now i don't want this coordinate system to move around with my page so what do i do i simply bring my cursor over it over over this coordinate system until it changes color from white to that one right click the last option then i uncheck i uncheck this perfect now once i zoom in and out the x and y is stationary now the next thing that we need to take care of are our working units as you know when you're drawing something you need to know the units you're working with so what do you do um, when there is nothing active when there is no command active and you have a cross simply type unit on your keyboard unit uh, a pop-up will come and click these units click the units and you have a there right there dialog box simply make sure the type is in this small and the precision is uh, depends on what you want how many number of decimal places do you want your dimensions to be in I want zero for this matter then insertion scale this is your in now uh, basically you're going to be working with millimeters here yeah, you can choose what you want meters I prefer millimeters perfect the same goes with the angles and I'll hit ok perfect now you can start off now basically when you go to your extreme right at the top you see we have the home tab uh, next to it we have the insert with very many commands under that annotate but we shall see those as time goes on let's start with the home tab under the home tab we have the draw tab i want us to focus on this today and in the draw tab we have the line command now we want to draw a line we want to draw a line how do you draw a line simply grab the line command by clicking it click it now i haven't introduced this command line but this command line will be guiding us on what to do next once we grab a tool once we grab a command once we grab an element 
So it's telling us to specify the first point, the first point of the line. So I'll specify my first point as that. And then it's telling me to specify the next point. I can simply do that graphically by locating a point on the screen and do that. Or I can simply input a length of that line, as you can see on your screen, on my screen, the length, I can pin the length using the keyboard, so I'm going to type the length of 90. Then I can also type an angle at which I want this line to be inclined at. As you can see, AutoCAD is also specifying an angle besides. How do I do that? How do I move to the angle side? I simply hit tab. So I hit tab on my keyboard. I can type in an angle of, let's say, 30 degrees, and I hit enter. Perfect, it draws the line at 30 degrees. So I I'm done drawing this line. So what do I do to get out of the command? I simply hit escape. Perfect. Now that's your line command. You can draw bunches and bunches of lines with this. And to get out of the command, simply hit escape. Perfect. Now let's go on to the polyline. The polyline, um, do the same, grab the polyline tool and follow what the command line is saying. Remember we said the command line is this white box down here. It tells us to do next, it tells us what to do next. Now we've shown you how to draw a line and a polyline, but what's the difference between these two? As you can see, these were drawn using my line tool and this has been drawn using my polyline tool for a line once i want to select it i and i select it it simply selects a segment of the chain of the lines that i drew you can say it drew something very close here but if i try to select it, it will simply select that single element but for a polyline once I try to select a single segment of that chain of lines, it will select the whole thing. Now basically that's the difference between a polyline and a line. Okay, yeah, basically that's the difference. Perfect. Now um, I'll show you how to select as time goes on. I want to draw a line that is either horizontal or vertical. How do I do that easily? So still grab your line command, specify your first point as the command line says, then you can simply hold down shift on your keyboard to make sure that this line is horizontal. And as I hold down shift, you can notice that I'm only drawing in the horizontal plane and maybe the vertical plane only. I cannot draw uh, a line at an angle of 30 and once I let that go I now have my line at any angle but if I hold shift my line is restricted either vertically or horizontally perfect and that works with uh, the polyline still uh, do that hold down shift you can see it's restricted in the horizontal I'm trying to play around with the mouse but it's not working and the vertical still Okay, um, the easier way to do that without holding down shift is coming down here. You can see we have a perpendicular symbol here, right here, and activating it. And once that's active, grab your line tool. And if you want to draw a line, it will only draw a line that is either vertical or horizontal. It cannot do anything else. Okay, yes, so. If you want that to go off, you simply turn it off here, and now you have your lines back on. Okay, um, I think let us look at the circle and the arc in our next tutorial. Thanks for watching. It's Ashraf here from Zenon Studio. See you in my next tutorial.